Let's explore this a little bit further and discuss these ba basic data structures array and list. Think about those two data structures in terms of complexity, so that means the runtime in terms of this big O notation. So how can we bound this runtime in terms of the number of elements in such a list? When we try to insert or remove an element up to the front, and by front I mean, for example, as it is in the queue, the first inserted element, yeah, which in this case would be three, and here would be as well element three. How would it be to remove an element here at the end, so element one, how would this, how long would this take? And how long would it take to, to get an element at position two, five, or something like that, at any arbitrary position? Imagine that there are n elements in this list. Think about it and try to write down a little bit the complexity. Now pause the video and do this little task in a couple of minutes. Welcome back. Here is now the resolution of this little task, uh, here taken from Wikipedia. So if you have a linked list, indexing takes O of n. Wait a minute, why does it take so long? Well, if you want to find, in this case, element three, you have to start from the list head and you have to traverse three elements. Okay, so you have to go n elements deep. By the In the array, I can directly index an element, that's why it's O of one. Insert and deletion of a linked list is O of one, because we just have to link it. We cannot, in a fixed array, it is tricky. Basically, you cannot do it in a dynamic array. You can do it, but it means you may, if you try to remove one, that means you have to shift all the other elements later in the array, one element further. That means you have to move n elements, or n minus one to be precise. So that is, of course, costly. That's why it's O of n. Insert deletion, well, it either is O of one when, the, when we store a pointer to the last element. So there are, sorry, there are a lot of lists. When you, instead of just keeping a list pointer to the head, we can also keep a pointer to the, to the tail of the list, which allows us to implement a first in, first out list also very performantly, instead of iterating through all the elements. It's just yet another pointer. Okay, um, well, in deleting at the middle, well, it's it's the search term and then the insertion itself takes O of one and the list has a, some wasted space because you have to save the pointers. Yeah, what is this dynamic array? Well, this is an idea that you grow and shrink the a fixed array depending on the size. For example, once an array is full, instead of adding one new element and copying all the data out, you would double the size of the array and then copy it over. Then you can insert again a couple of new elements rather quickly. Okay, so this is a dynamic array in a nutshell. This is, I find it very cool algorithm. Have a look at it. So as we said, a list can be modified to store a pointer to the last element. So here we have basically a um, a doubly linked list where we store pointers to the previous element as well. This allows us to get to get started, for instance, from a tail of the list and then go backwards. So we can go from a tail to the previous element to the previous element over here very easily. There are a lot of more types of lists, circular lists, skip lists, and so on. In algorithms, you will understand them better. I think they are really basic data structures and very enjoyable.